Hello and welcome once again. In this video, we'll be talking about how to install Jenkins on your Ubuntu virtual machine. All right. So to use Jenkins, first of all, we need to install Java on that VM. And to install Java, first of all, we need to do sudo apt update. All right. So this will be taking a couple of seconds. And as soon as it is done, then you need to install OpenJDK Java 8. So for that, you will be running the command sudo apt install openjdk hyphen 8 hyphen jdk. So this way we are installing Java 8 onto the VM. All right. So the first step, uh, which was uh, the installation of Java is now completed. And now we can go ahead with the second step, which is the installation of Jenkins. Now that installation of Jenkins is on not a very straightforward or one liner step. But what we need to do is, first of all, we need to add framework repository key. And for that, we need to run this command wget minus q minus o minus, and then we need to give this URL https package.jenkins.io Debian stable. We are saying that we want to uh, uh, map it to Debian stable releases and then jenkins.io.key and then uh, separate it with pipe and then sudo apt key add. All right, so this way we are adding the framework repository key and uh, the device returns OK when the key is inserted. Now, the next step is that we need to link the repository of Debian packages to source.list of the server. All right, so for that, what we need to do is we need to run this command sudo sh minus c and then in single quote echo deb and then this URL and then uh, you need to put this complete path. Okay, so this is how you will be linking your repository of Debian packages to source.list. Okay, doesn't matter if you are not able to recall all these steps, I have documented all these steps on the repository. So you can follow these steps one by one and then you will be able to reach to the installation. Now, once we are done with this step also, what we need to do after that is we need to do apt update like we did earlier. And uh, for that, we will be using sudo apt update. Again, it will be taking a couple of seconds. And as soon as it is done, what you can do is you are ready to install Jenkins. And for that, you'll be using the command sudo apt install Jenkins. And now, I want to read the contents of this initial admin password file. So I'm copying this key and this key, I will be pasting it on this text box and then I click on this continue. Now, as we did earlier for windows, it will again ask me to install the plugins. For now, let's say I do not want to install any plugins, so I simply go to this manual selection and then uncheck all and then move ahead. So this way I am right now not installing any plugins, but later when I want to use Jenkins or when I want to work on the pipelines, I would be required to, you know, install these plugins. Let us first create a test user to just see whether Jenkins is working fine or not. So I give the same username password, which I'm using for windows. And then we can go ahead. We see here the URL is fine and we are good to use Jenkins and we can see that it takes us to the dashboard. Now we see the difference that for windows, we have some jobs configured, but the one which we are accessing right now is hosted on Ubuntu virtual machine. I hope this is now clear to you and we are good to move to the next video.